In this video, we're going to go over the tabs widget in jQuery. Now the tabs widget is very similar to the accordion widget that we talked about a few videos ago. The only difference is we use the panels to go horizontally. With the accordion widget, it's vertical panels. But again, we can use the tabs widget to go horizontally. So what we're gonna do is stick it right inside of our main div, which of course is this big content pane right here. So I've already created the code here, and here you can see, here's our main div right here. And inside of this, this is all the code for the tab widget. Now, it's really a three-step process to setting up the tab widget. You need a container, which I made right here, and this is actually what we will use in our jQuery code. This is what we reference. So this is just like a gigantic wrapper. So I've created that. Then the next thing you need is an unordered list. And this is basically all of our links. Now, each one of these LIs right here represents a tab. So our first tab will be on Ancient Greece. Our second tab will be on Ancient Rome. We have a third tab here for Ancient Egypt. Now, what happens here is we need an anchor link, and then we need to use a hashtag to point to the div section that corresponds with this tab. So this first tab right here on Ancient Greece, this corresponds to this div right here. And you can see I've and you can see I've created an ID called Greece. So we need to reference that up here in this first LI element. And you can see I've done that. I've used the hashtag and then Greece. So that points to this div. So when the user clicks on this tab, this content will be displayed and so on. So when they click on the second tab, we have an href to our Rome section, which of course is this div section right here with an ID of Rome and so on. Same thing for Egypt, which is right down here. So those are the three parts. The first part, we need the container. The second part, we need our LI elements. And in the third part, we need our div sections. And again, our LI elements each point to a different div section where you want to display content. So that's the three parts. By the way, that's what the code inside the jQuery function that we're about to call it needs these three sections. That's how it works. It needs all three of these sections in this format. So you can see there's actually quite a bit of setup in HTML. That's what we're really doing with this particular widget. So now that we've got this set, let's actually go down and create our jQuery code. And as usual, it will only be really one line. So what we'll do is we'll use the ID for our main container, which of course is, well, main container. Let's just go ahead and copy this. And we'll just paste this in down here. And of course we need a hashtag and there we go and then we simply call the tabs function and this of course will create our tab widget so let's save this and let's see if this works we'll go ahead and load this and there you can see we got all three of our tabs take a look at that and the default of course is the first tab which is ancient greece if we click on ancient rome now the content for ancient Rome displays. If we click on ancient Egypt, now the content for ancient Egypt displays. And let's actually go ahead and minimize this for a second. And we'll just pull this over here. So let's actually uh, minimize this as well. So here's our link and our main tab for ancient Greece, which is right here. And you can see here's where we put the name ancient Greece. That's what will be displayed on our main tab. The second tab, of course, is for ancient Rome. You can see that displays right here. And again, these all point to a different div section that contains our content. So let's go ahead and we'll add a fourth section just to make sure everything is working properly. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you get this set up, it's pretty easy to add sections. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna add a second section on ancient Egypt. We'll just say ancient Egypt two. And we'll come down here and we'll give this a different ID. We'll call this Egypt two. And then let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And we'll go ahead and add our fourth content panel. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's run it and let's make sure everything's working. And it is. There we go. We've got our fourth content panel. So this is very useful if you want to display a lot of content on your main content page. You can put a lot of different content and just allow the user to click around on the different tabs. Okay, that's going to do it. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.